Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add an audio spectrum to your videos without Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro. You won't have to download any software for this video, we're going to be using an online tool called Veed, and with that being said, let's get started. So like I mentioned, the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, so you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are going to be in the description down below. So once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left. Now we're in Veed's video editor, and this is where we want to add the clip that we want to add an audio spectrum to. So if I click on the upload video button, I'm going to select a clip and I click on open. As you can see now, I've got a video which I filmed on my phone and I want to turn this into an Instagram post. Let's say a little bit like a podcast snippet. So what I'm going to do first is actually change the canvas size and we can either make it square or I can make it the portrait 4x5. Now I'm going to go to the video tab and click on fill frame. Now this is perfect. So if I click on play, hey Instagram Reels, Alec here and I'm just making this video. As you can see, I have my video. Now to add an audio spectrum, it's very, very simple. To do this, I'm going to click on the elements tab in the left toolbar. I click on the sound waves and then here I have the possibility to add sound waves and then I've got a selection of audio spectrums to choose from. So just for an example, I could choose the static one right at the bottom. If I click play, I'd say thank you for all the support that you guys have been. This one I've got, let's just say Simi, this one Me on my YouTube channel. Recently. Perfect. Then I've got a bunch of different Instagram ones reels, Alec. and every single one here. And I'm just making I'll show you that round circle one and harmony this video and every single one I can actually click and drag it and resize it just how I want. I can also rotate it and I can also change the color. So like this. Thank you for all the support that you got. And you can also change for most of them. Let me just reset this roughly for most of them. You can also change the maximum and minimum decibel peaks. So for an example, I can reduce this there we go. I can make the minimum minus 11, thing. nothing will appear. If I make it really low, Thank you for all this. it's going to be peaking a lot. So on average, you want this around minus 110. And then the max dB, this is where the roof is. If I lower this, it's going to be peaking again a lot. Instagram reels. And then if I make this really high, it's never going to peak. I like here and I'm just as you can see. You can kind of play around with that to get it exactly how you want. You can change the colors, you can change a bunch of different styles. You can also change the duration. For example, if you don't want it to last throughout the entire video, you could Thank place you, it, video. let's just say here. If you want it to end right there, you can either click on the end stopwatch once you place the playhead there, or you can manually input a time. For example, let's say if I wanted to start at two seconds of my video, I just enter two on the keyboard, and as you can see, it's now changed. You can also click and drag as well. And then once you're happy, I also want to mention that you can add another sound wave. You can add as many sound waves as you like and then make them all a different styles. For an example, let's just Support do that one right here. And then this is perfect. And then once you're happy with your video to download it, you click on the download button in the top right and then V will start to render your project. And once it's finished rendering it, you can download your video with your new audio spectrum. And that is how to add an audio spectrum to your video without After Effects. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.